Hi, I'm Cindy with The Pulse. I'm here with the Relationship Los Angeles-based band. You guys just played ASCAP Music Cafe, which was phenomenal. I'm here with Nate and Brian. How are you guys? Great, great. Just had a great show. I'm in a great mood. Well, you're sweaty too. That I am, I am. <laughs> it's definitely an endorphin kind of thing that happens. But we'll talk about it when they run. That never happened to me, but it happens like after a good show. But after freezing up here for the better part of a you know, week, it the feels good. <laughs> I, I, I never have gotten that endorphin thing people runners talk about because I just yeah, never runners. I haven't gone past a quarter of a mile yet. Well, especially so not out here with the altitude. Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> well, let's talk about O. Allen, okay. the release. Is it coming in March? When is the yeah. release date? Uh, roughly uh, March 21st for this thing called Burgerama, which is Burger Records is the record label that it's being put out, and they do this three-day festival in uh, Orange County, uh, Nate's old, you know, where he's from. But uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And we'll be premiering that and selling that uh, record for that show. Uh, and it's a 45. Um, it's they release tapes, I heard. They oh, do a yeah, lot of yeah. tape releases. Yeah, whatever right? they want. They'll do That's like so cool. 200 tapes of a, you know, um, exclusive release by like a big band. So we're really, we really support what they're doing. I'm from Orange County. I grew up playing with, well, I'll just say most of the well-known Orange County bands and stuff. And um uh, they're kind of going back to my roots to like what we did when we were kids in that area with our own indie labels and stuff but they're getting a lot of attention so we're really happy to be part of it we're really excited about it well and I wanted your input yeah, for the right by the way yeah. the, the venue is called the observatory oh, oh yeah. perfect yeah. good okay and so I wanted to get your take on the indie labels a lot of artists now they want to be with an indie label oh, they yeah. want to stay away from the bigger la labels what do you guys what's your take on that well, well, we haven't we, we haven't got like those offers where we're turning people down and stuff. So <laughs> not yet. We'll no. see. No we'll see. Um, um, well, I like right now we like being in control and, and yeah. of what uh, the music is going to sound like, and um, you know I'm, I'm sure that would be part of the clause. It has that's important. Like we have to kind of keep working at it till we get it till we feel it's right, and uh, down to the artwork, everything, our merch, all that we take pride in our burger you know like seriously like designing our t-shirts our records our everything and we don't really feel like giving that up and we don't have to right no, and you have more control it sounds like you can really put out what you want to put out the kind of music you want to put out you're right and we feel very fortunate uh, burger has a built-in audience and uh it's something we don't have that big of right now is is an audience yet and uh um we hope that they accept us and uh um, as one of their own and uh, so I mean the label did and that, that means a lot to me. So far so good. Well and you guys are like the new uber band. You have Anthony from The Bravery. I mean you guys have been in great bands. So it's like tell me about the camaraderie and oh, how this yeah. all kind of came about. It's awesome. Everybody in this band has done um, pretty remarkable work before this. Um, although the styles sort That's of are a little different. You, right? Yeah yeah I'm more from a Orange County like live Punk, rock and roll, U.S. bombs, die huns, uh, the women, um, stuff like that. Um, but uh, you know, our drummer was playing with Morrissey right before us. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of between Weezer, and then our bass player. Uh, he played with Albert from The Strokes. They grew up together, and so everybody's done a lot of uh, interesting stuff. And we really, it's really come together. That's the big difference. We had a record. The relationship was me and Belle. Yeah, you guys met in you guys met in school, right? In yeah, school. we met in music school right after high school, and uh, we always remained friends and supported each other, and kind of tried to bounce stuff off each other, writing wise, trying to develop our own styles, our own writing techniques. So. Um, we put out a record ourselves with some session guys or whatever, and in your home. Yeah. Is that true? Did you put it out in your home? You guys, the first record in 2010, right? And what do you mean, my home? Well, I, I heard you recorded it in your home. Is that true uh, well, or not? A I home studio. It wasn't yeah. my home. Yeah, okay. it was. Okay. A, it was a home studio. Um, a, a good one. That you know, it was in Bell's house that we wrote all the stuff, piano the and guitar. Isn't really the important thing. It's what you put on on, on tape, yeah. and um, and yeah, it was about capturing a performance. That was that was the the main thing, and uh, keeping the essence of the song in its what the initial state of what inspired that song in the first place. What was the uh, uh, the, the germ, the seed that that spawned that idea, 
and, and staying true to that and then see, for seeing it through and, and like, oh my, I love that, you know, like um, you might find uh, a rhythmic pattern, a melodic pattern, a, 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 a an idea of a concept and then, and then you expand on that and uh, stay true to it and as long as you don't go far off left field, you'll have a good song in the end. Otherwise, it'll become convoluted and you're chasing your tail. Well, and what's your favorite song on the album? Can you tell us? Do you have one? Record? At this point, I really like uh, I really like the last song, Master Plan. I like the message. It has some words that I'm kind of proud of, and it's got a great melody. I also like Ugly Things a lot. Um, but what was lacking after we, because you said, as you mentioned, it was a 2010 release, and we played with different session guys or whatever, but we didn't have a band. And now we do, like with Anthony and John, we really, really finally have dream team. What that means it, uh, is uh, people that feel invested uh, in in a, in a similar thing, like uh, partners. We're all partners in this, and uh, and and, you know, and there's no stupid idea. Like, let's try it. You 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 think things should go three times instead of two here? Let's try it. Uh, you, you don't like that? Okay, well, well let's see what the other options are. That kind of thing. Otherwise, you know, a, a session player won't, won't, they don't care. They're just there for the check. So um, they don't care that the song's not right yet. Um, you know, we've done many of demos of, of songs that weren't right yet until it takes me a while to figure that out. Um, but now, now they're like, okay, this is ready, you know. Well, and you guys are playing Urban Lounge too. Tell us about that and what else you're doing while you're at Sundance. Well, I should actually turn this over to Bella. His sister, this is kind of a home away from home from LA for Bell. He, his sister is out here. She's kind of a prominent artist in the um, scene out here. And he's come out and performed some of our songs before out here. So uh, it, that's down in Salt Lake. Yeah, they ran an uh, indie club called Kilby Court okay. um, many years ago. Now now it's been taken over by other people, but and they have a framing shop now. But uh, yeah, my sister, her husband, and, and my nephews live in Salt Lake. And uh, so every Thanksgiving, we'd, I'd always come here and we would go to Park City, Stein Erickson Lodge is an amazing Thanksgiving uh, meal, and um, kind of m make this a meeting point. So it's my, you know, my mom lives on the East Coast and I live in California, and it's kind of a good meeting point like for us. For you guys. It kind of is, in a way. Yeah. So what, are you going to do anything fun while you're here then? Family, snowboarding, skiing, <laughs> anything? We've well, been pretty busy, actually, working. So Winter sports, and unless you're really talented at it and, and, and playing and guitar, really don't don't yeah. mix. Right. Bono, yeah. you know, just what happened to Bono exactly. lately. It's crazy. Exactly. Well, where can we find out about you guys? I mean, follow you on tour. Give us the scoop on oh, yeah. everything. Well, I mean, we have a, uh, a website. Relationshipband.com. Okay. Again, that's relationshipband.com. Perfect. No, like We're going to follow you guys. You guys rocked it. You're awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was so great to meet you. Thanks yeah. for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.